guys today is thursday and i am starting this weekend's vlog off early because i just went to our post just went to our p.o box and we had a couple of packages in there so i wanted to open them up and show you guys what we got So it says, hello, Corinne. I'm happy you are becoming our brand ambassador. Looking forward for pictures with Israel. Here's a promo code you can give to your followers, Corinne25 for 25% off. Have a nice day. I'll go ahead and show you guys what we got in here. Super cute little packaging. She sent us this sweet little handmade bunny. His name is News. So cute. Then. Oh my goodness. She made Israel a little matching rattle. These are so precious. Here is a better look at what we were sent. So the brand is called Monsters by Sea. And I believe she's out of Belgium. Yep, made in Belgium. These are so sweet. I'm going to link her website down below. And then um, our code as well if you guys want to purchase from her. 25% off with my discount code. Look at him with them. <laughs> this is so precious. I love it. He's so precious. Time to open up the next box. All right. Super cute. So back before I even became pregnant, I found this company, Ryla, who makes beautiful diaper bags, and I absolutely loved their bags. But when it came time to getting a diaper bag, I just ended up getting the one that I have from Skip Hop. And then I think like last week, I got an email from this company and they wanted to send me one of their diaper bags. So this one is the fall brown diaper bag. It's basically like a smaller version of my diaper bag back there. It's just a little bit smaller. It is quite smaller. I feel like this one could actually fit inside of my diaper bag right now. I just think it's gonna be a really good like lightweight option or maybe if we're just doing like a weekend trip or something like that and I don't wanna take my giant bag because this thing is so heavy like when i mean it's filled to the brim with stuff and it is very heavy but let's go through so something that's really cool is that they put like little cards in every single pocket like telling you basically how to use it so this front one is called the mommy pocket the one pocket for you and you only and that's kind of how i use this one too as i always put like my phone and my wallet and things like that in there and then here oh this one is specifically a phone pocket so that's pretty cool but they call it your phone pocket and it's actually like really tight and secure so let's shove my phone in there oh yeah so it doesn't really come out very well whereas in my diaper bag this one's like easily slipping out so that's kind of cool on the inside comes with this which i believe is a changing pad yep so right here it says changing kit that's super cool and this is like nice and plastic so you could put like dirty clothes in here or dirty diaper or whatever and then you're easily able to kind of like wipe it away if it gets gross so one thing that my diaper bag doesn't have is insulated pockets and this diaper bag has two insulated pockets for bottles so i exclusively breastfeed which means when i'm on the go i have to take expressed milk it's not like i can just make a formula bottle and be good to go like i have to bring milk that's expressed and milk expires so it's really nice to have something that's insulated because with this one i don't have that oh this one says a binky pocket so you can stick binkies in there i like how this is all like laid out for you so you can figure out like where you want to put all of your stuff and then this one says an anything pocket i like this little detail back here that says ryla on it there's a zipper right back here Ooh, it's nice and like soft in here 
Oh, so this one is specifically for tablets. I am just excited to have the option, honestly, to have a brown bag versus a black bag. I think it's gonna be super nice to have two. My baby hairs are out of control. I think it's just postpartum. Never really had an issue with baby hairs, but um, I do now. So I just got Israel down for his second nap of the day. I'm hoping it'll be another long one. This morning he took like an hour and a half nap. So we'll see. But Israel ran out of all of his newborn diapers. And honestly, I was sick of buying more newborn diapers. So we sized him up to size one. And they're pretty big on him. He has already had two leaked diapers today like he leaked out of two diapers already today like he leaks out of them like at the very top it's almost like it's just not tight enough around his waist he's gonna grow into them i'm not gonna buy any more newborn diapers even though he still is technically in that size i need to go downstairs into one of our storage rooms and grab all of the size ones and bring them into his room and put them up here because this is where we store all of his wipes and diapers. Right now we just have wipes up here. We have some wipes. Oh, only one package of wipes in here. That means I should probably take one of those down and bring it down into there. I was not kidding when I said that we have a lot of size ones. So <gasps> yeah, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of size one. received something in the mail that I am so excited about. So pretty much since Israel was born in August, I've been looking for like a special pair of Christmas pajamas for him. And I just have like such a specific style and I haven't really found anything that I absolutely love. And I had a company reach out to me saying that they wanted to send me some Christmas pajamas that they needed pictures of. I literally gasped when I opened up the package and saw what was inside because these are the cutest pajamas ever they're totally my style just look at this set so adorable and this is like a super soft and stretchy material and of course who doesn't love a cute gray hoodie so the shop owner hand makes all of her items by herself hand makes everything blows me away that people are so talented that they can literally like sew together baby clothes sew together clothes in general so i am so excited to have him wear these for christmas and for the christmas season and yeah so i just had to show you guys how flipping adorable this set is so i'm going to go ahead and link her shop down below if you guys are interested she has an etsy shop with just a million cute things on there so right now it's 4 23 and you can't even see my face because of how dark it is but i mean we don't really have any lights on in our house does anyone else just love the fog it just puts me in such a like cozy mood it's so gloomy and foggy and i just love it i love the fog especially in the field back here it just looks so like cozy winter christmasy like i'm literally gonna make myself a cup of coffee because it's foggy and yeah just puts me in a good mood today is monday i'm gonna vlog a little bit before i go ahead and edit this and get it up for you guys i just have a couple things that i kind of want to talk about and ask you guys about i have a couple ideas for next month when it comes to christmas time um, I don't think I want to do vlogmas because vlogmas feels a little too intimidating for me And if you don't know what vlogmas is It's basically where vloggers post a vlog every single day of December leading up to Christmas So instead of vlogmas, I think what I want to do is the 12 days of Christmas And so the 12 days leading up to Christmas will post a vlog every day and it will be like Christmas themed so 
we'll do like baking cookies, making ornaments, uh, like going and looking at Christmas lights, things like that. So if you guys have any good ideas when it comes to the 12 days of Christmas vlog idea, video ideas for that, let me know. So if you could comment those down below, that would be awesome. Two other things pertaining to Christmas. I'm thinking for the 12 days of Christmas, I want to give $5 away every single 12 days of Christmas video for coffee. So like buy one of you guys coffee every day for the 12 days leading up to Christmas. So I think what we'll do is you will just have to screenshot like you watching the video or the thumbnail of the video, post it on Instagram, tag both of us, Aiden and I on Instagram, and then every day we will select one of you guys to like Venmo you $5 or send you like a Starbucks gift card or something like that. I think that would be a really fun thing to do. Also, I would love, absolutely love to receive your guys' Christmas cards if you want to send them to us. So our P.O. box is always down in the description down below. So please send us your Christmas cards and we'll put them all over our fridge. I think that would be so fun just to like be able to connect with you guys better and like see pictures of your family and read your Christmas cards. And then for whoever sends us Christmas cards, we will then write you a little note and send our Christmas card to you as well. Those are the three things that I wanted to go over as far as like next month and um, Christmas time and all of that. But right now I'm getting ready to do an influencer study. I can't talk about like what it's for or anything like that because I signed an NDA for it. But I'm gonna do that right now. And then I'm gonna play with Israel a little bit. And he is just playing with his little wooden toys and hanging out. And then I think after I'm finished with my influencer study, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog, edit it, and get it up for you guys. Okay, so me and Israel are going to end the vlog together. <laughs> He's going to take Aiden's place since Aiden is working and we forgot to end the vlog together last night. I just wanted to mention if you have not entered our 10K giveaway for hitting 10,000 subscribers, go ahead and look through our videos and you will find the video and it's literally titled 10k giveaway and then follow the rules that are in the description or if you haven't watched it you can watch it and we'll talk about what we're giving away and all of that it will be closing whoa next monday i also wanted to give our shout out so this video shout out is going to go to Haley. Amerto, I hope I'm saying that right. So shout out to you Haley and if you would like a shout out all you have to do is make sure to be subscribed and comment down below. I am also going to read a verse of the vlog. So this week's verse is 1 John 4 18 and it says there's no fear in love but perfect love casts out fear. For fear has to do with punishment and whoever fears has not been perfected in love. Also, if you have any prayer requests, you can leave those down below. If they're too personal, you can always DM either me or Aiden on our Instagrams. You guys are loved and we will see you in the next one. Bye guys.